Hi, hello everyone, it's Cheryl. I just wanted to show you my Dollar Tree haul. So, first off, I bought this um, Chevron bag. And I had bought a blue one um, that had like a swirly design or whatever on it. But, um, please excuse my nails. My nail polish is rough looking. Anyway, um, when I packed the things, like all this didn't fit in one bag, in this just this bag. So, um, when I packed it in the blue bag, it ripped. And when I got to my car, and it's right on the seam. So it's like, it, it looks like it's like, seems like it's like a tear away. So I wouldn't recommend these. Um... If you just think it's really cute and you want to keep it, that's fine. But I wouldn't recommend this for shopping of any kind because um, this was like the second one I tried. And they both had the same thing. The other one ripped right in the store. And then this one ripped before I got, like when I got to the car to pull it out and put it in the trunk. So these I would pass on. Then I picked up this elbow pasta. It's 24 ounces. So it's like a pound and a half. And then the baby's like the elbow shape. So I figured for a dollar. I've bought this before and they, they liked it. These are good to make like macaroni and cheese. Like make your own macaroni and cheese. So I picked those up. Um, I picked this up. Another Brillo Electrocell um, two pack of kitchen sponges. I picked up more of these. These are so good. Um, Walmart has like a big container of them for five bucks, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go buy the big container. You get five ounces for a dollar. It's you know the big clear tub that has the screw on cap, and I think it's like five dollars. So better go get some of that. I found another pack of these, um, the dragonflies. So I picked up another one of these. This is empty because we ate it, and it's the six ounces. They didn't have all the different other kinds of popcorn, and I didn't want to get like three bags of this, so I just got one. But this is really good. I always get that. Okay, for a meal um, that I'm planning on doing, I got this one pound bag of frozen broccoli, and then I got these rib eye thin pounded steaks. They're 3.5 ounces, and it says one steak is one serving size, and I got another one. If you ever, I don't know, if you ever make brujol, these are really good. You let them unfreeze in here, then I rinse them off, and then I um, put my herb butter inside, and then I roll it up, tie it off, brown it in the pan, and then throw it in with my pasta sauce, and these are so good. Like that, but I'm going to do um, steak and broccoli. So, yeah. Um, then I picked up one of these. It was the only one I found. It's in the unsalted chicken. And it's the Swanson. And it says it's 26 ounces. So not quite two, two pounds. I don't know why it's in pounds, but... Yeah, liquids usually in ounces. So I thought this would be really good for um, making like chicken flavored rice. Or to use this um, to make, uh, what do you call that? Um, rice pilaf, and instead of using the water, season it with the um, chicken flavored chicken stock. So I thought those were cool. Like I said, they only had this one or I would have picked up more. And I'm glad it's unsalted. Picked up two more of these. I don't know if anybody had these when they were like in their childhood, but um, the Mike and Ike Cherry and Bub. So it's cherry flavor and bubblegum flavor. You get five ounces. So I picked up one of those. I picked up another thing of the Jolly Ranches. It's 3.8 ounces. It's just the original ones. Then I picked up this book with a piggy on it. It's called Sticky Fingers. So I picked that up. I found another one of these, the Little Chap Ices in um, watermelon. 
But I can't find the other one I bought. My daughter probably took it. So I figured this would be good to keep in my purse. My granddaughter is obsessed with any kind of chapstick, so she might have took it. Um, I picked up these, the Cool Pops. Come with watermelon, tropical punch, berry punch, cherry, orange, grape, strawberry, and lemon lime. And you get 20 little pouches in there. So I picked up those. I picked up these. It came with three pairs of socks. I have one pair on. They're actually pretty good for the summer because they don't have like the sweat sock material inside. They're just like really thin socks. So I picked these up for when I do my feet. And I've been buying a lot of socks from there for when I do my feet. I've been doing them a lot lately. It's the season for that. Um, they're 52% cotton, which usually I like to get a higher percentage cotton, but I mean at Dollar Tree you're not going to get, you know, 100% cotton socks, so. Yeah, I thought those were good. Then I picked up two of these. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I've seen different people on YouTube use these and put like the um, submergible lights, tea lights in there. Put them in a vase or something, so I thought that would be awesome. They're so sparkly, so pretty. So I picked those up. I picked two of them up. I've seen a lot of people have the colored ones, but they just had the clear, and I'm fine with that. Then I picked up these. The top ramen, it comes with, and I've got a chicken flavor, it comes with five. So I picked those up. Then I found, I finally found the little pen. So I picked that up. With all the little pearls on it. thought that was really cute. Um, and I do like that it comes with the little cap on it. So when you throw it in your purse or something, you don't draw, you know, write all over everything in there. So I thought that was cute. Then I picked up two of these. My store finally got them. I've been waiting for these. They're just the little uh, metal pencil and, you know, you put your paper clips or whatever in these two little bins. So I picked up two of those. Um, then I found the magnetic, the little magnetic thing um, for the refrigerator or it's for kids for in their locker for back to school. But what I got this for is last week I bought the kids, it's dusty in there, I'm going to clean that. But I bought them refrigerator magnets, so I thought this would be great to hang on the refrigerator and they can put all the magnets in and then take them out and put them back when they're done. So I thought that would be great to hold all the little um, alphabet letters. Then I picked up another one of these bins. I got this plastic hard bin in purple. So my store hadn't had these. Um, I just needed one more bin and I um, couldn't find the same design. So this isn't the short fatter one. This is the longer one. So I picked it up in purple to put in the baby's room, in the kids' playroom. Then I found these. I thought these were so cute. They're file holders. And they're in black and white like a paisley. So I picked up two. And that is what I picked up today. Oh, and I got one of these. And my daughter's name is Ashley. And I didn't even realize it. So I thought that was awesome. Okay, well, that's my haul for today. And I hope you enjoyed. I probably will be doing a... um. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on like what I do with these or what I'm going to do with this with the steak and the broccoli. Like this is obviously not the same kind of steak that's in this picture. It looks much thicker. As you can see, the steak is not very thin. I mean, very thick. And um, I do like it though. I do. It's just enough that it's um, a good amount without, you know having to worry about portion control it's just one portion and like I said if you make brujol this is perfect for that or if you have any pounded thin meat 
that you know you roll up or something like that this is and it cooks really quick so this is good for in the summer okay I'm gonna stop talking now thank you for watching have a great day ciao